here in Spokane done in the same fashion. I don't want it to be three years, four years, or five years. I just want you to be aware of. Uh, don't have much time, but I touch on a little bit on the, the halal industry. The, when people talk about halal, they talk about the first things come up to our mind is food. But it's not. It, it's gone beyond that. And, and I think we have to seriously look at it. How are we going to be competitive in this industry? And when you talk about how many people would say, okay, only Muslim people. No. And it's increasingly, maybe Muslim could be in minority soon. The reason is that people are so well aware of the cleanness, the green energy. The, the, they are more concerned about themselves these days. There are reasons behind that. Maybe you can talk a little bit about it. But basically, it goes to, I think it was on Time Magazine last week, or Economist, I'm not sure. But there are about few pages. It's very important. You have, have to grab it and read it. Uh, it goes down to hotels, transportation. It does about everything. You know, and they're competing. I don't know, would, be, would there be a movie's house? <laughs> I, I don't know. I just, I just, just thinking that, that uh, the consumers, uh, the, the, the uh, Muslim world, they also see the high income group. So our consumers also have the money as well. So if we could combine, we have cooperation, production, testing, verification, in marketing, logistics. I mean, you sitting here know much more than I myself do. But uh, I'm more than willing to help. Uh, in fact, the Prime Minister just signed another order, another paper, appointing me as chairman of the Thai uh, industry. So, so I be I be working on it, but I need. Your help, you know. I, I mean, I, I can't just do it myself. Uh, I think that's about that I cover. Oh, I was I was telling you a little bit about why people, and I think this is important. Uh, why why people these days change? You know, because of the the flat world, and the world is much smaller these days, and you, you start hearing about 24-7. You know, people work 24 hours, seven days. Doesn't mean that you don't go to sleep. But if you are executives in the States, you've got everything taped, you send it a patch file to your secretary back in India, where she woke up and received the file, you go back to bed, she start typing, send it while it's working, daytime. So it's different 12 hours. 12 hours the state working, 12 hours sleep in India as back office of the world. So basically, the productivity is, is number one, perfect. So you work less, you have more time. Uh, and you don't have to fight with your secretary because she's halfway around the world. Uh, productivity, supply chain. We no longer talk about one roof from the very beginning to the end, like the Ford production of the car, blah, blah, blah. Now you, you know, like there's one uh, book to talk about this interesting that, that I can tell you about. The, the, the writer do some research. You know, he thought a 